Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Pisces. So this is going to be a you and them love reading of your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone you are connected to energetically, romantically, someone that you are thinking about and someone who is thinking about you. I'm recording this message for the energies of July, but I do ask these readings to be timeless and give you something you need to hear when you need to hear it. So for your cards, Pisces, I'll be using the mystical mind Gatero for your person, the traditional Rider Waite, and if clarifiers are needed, the Fortune Telling Tarot deck by Yoshi Takamano. So let's get started. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter? What is Pisces thinking overall about this connection right now? What are some things going on in the daily life could be affecting this? What is happening in your heart space? How are you feeling about your person or the person who could be on your mind? What intentions do you have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future for whenever you are meant to hear this message? We do have the page of cups on the bottom of the deck. Could be flirting with somebody, interested in somebody, having somebody on your mind, or even meeting somebody completely new if that's what you're looking for. Although I feel like a lot of my readings, some of you do have somebody specific on your mind. Could have some feelings with the page of cups. I feel like there is a lot of interest, wanting to talk, wanting to reach out, wanting to let somebody know maybe what they mean to you or just kind of test the waters and flirt a little, see if they flirt back, you know, that sort of thing with the Page of Cups. It's here on the bottom of the deck, so could be a little side of yourself that could feel a little shy or maybe tucking those energies, a flirtatious energy down a little bit while you kind of survey the whole experience and see, you know, do they feel the same way, that sort of thing. But there are feelings here. So, let's get the cards for your person. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter for the person connected to or coming towards Pisces or the person on Pisces' mind? What are they thinking overall about this connection or potential connection? What are some things going on in the daily life? What are some things going on in the daily life could be affecting this? How are they feeling in their heart space? What intentions do they have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future for whenever you are meant to hear this message. Okay, nine of cups on the bottom of the deck, specifically Pisces energy. I do feel like somebody could absolutely be thinking about you. For me, that nine of cups is the energy that you need to be in to attract and experience that 10 of cups, which is like the next step. We got to find some peace and happiness and joy and fun in ourselves too, because we attract what we are, you know, so to attract that in, in a connection and share that with somebody. I also feel like this can be the energy of wishing for somebody, hoping for somebody, could be, you know, somebody who is also, you know, wanting to, you know, um, sit back and observe the situation a little bit. I don't know why I'm fe feeling like this, you know. Well, I do because of some of the other cards I'm seeing here. But observe the situation a little bit and maybe decide what to do or what to say. But it feels like all the while it's like they're wishing and hoping for you. I feel like the way that you're also thinking of them. So heart of the matter is the king of cups. Pisces, that is your energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces as well. It could be a beautiful man match for your energy. You could be seeing this person as like the one, the one you could be around, the one that you could be happy with. You could be falling for them, very interested in them, thinking very deeply about your feelings, maybe the next step, the next move, something like that. You could be feeling like this is somebody, you know, you could make each other happy. I mean, the page of cups and the king of cups feels like there are definitely feelings for, um, here. Now, some of you, if you're looking for something new, could definitely be setting intentions for somebody who's a match comes forward from the heart but I feel like for many of you there could be somebody that you have feelings for and you know you know you know you want to move this forward you know you want to explore this your person has the page of swords Libra Gemini Aquarius energy and you know how I felt like with that nine of cups it was somebody almost like sitting back a little bit observing trying to decide what to do well that kind of is the energy of the page of swords as well it's somebody who could be a little bit on the outside looking in somebody who 
even wants a little to know a little more, kind of wants a little more information maybe before taking a step or deciding, you know, what to say or do. Could be somebody looking at your pictures, social media, things like that. It's a little secretive, that page of swords, like somebody who maybe hasn't said exactly what is going on, but you know, they're definitely deciding. It almost feels like they know, you know, maybe it's time to make something clear or speak up about something and they want to know, you know, if it's the right time, if it's the right moment, if they should. Spirit, why do we have this page of swords for the heart of the matter? And it's the ace of wands. Just what I said about somebody thinking it's time to speak up, but they want to know, you know, is this the moment? I see the page of swords on the bottom of the deck. Look at what is peeking out here. The six of cups, Scorpio energy here, but we still have that page of swords. They're curious about you. They want to know. They're definitely interested because with the six of cups, there's something about you that stands out different from anybody else. There's something about you. They could be thinking about you, having feelings feelings for you. Some cases that's somebody who wants to, you know, reunite if you haven't talked in a little bit, or they could be kind of looking at, you know, you from, from the, you know, um, like from the outside a little bit here with the page of swords doesn't necessarily mean the two of you aren't talking or even seeing, you know, each other or talking to each other. You're all at different places. Take it how it resonates. But it feels like there's something more, like something more they're wanting to explore, something more they're wanting to say that maybe they've held back a little bit. And it's connected to the six of cups, which for me is it's one of my soulmate cards. And a soulmate for me is like somebody that you just click, you just know, because maybe you did share some past lives with them. Maybe you do go, you know, a back of ways in some cases in this life. And um, once again, different for all of you, but there's something that feels like home. There's something that feels familiar. And it feels to me like this person like wants to be in your world. They want to be around you. There's some thoughts that they're thinking that are, you know, honestly with the Six of Cups, very positive. We have the Page of Swords clarified by the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. They're not only are they curious about you, they're attracted to you. You, they're interested in you. For me, the Ace of Wands can be like a lot of chemistry, just natural chemistry, but it is somebody who wants to do something, say something, take some sort of action or initiative, strike up a conversation, and it feels like they're curious, like, is this the right time? Is this the right moment? Could even be deciding what to say. You've got the Seven of Wands in your daily life, Leo energy. I love the Seven of Wands. It's a hero's card. It's taking the high ground. It's taking a stand, you know, Know, passionately moving towards what it is that you know you desire it is somebody who's getting some things sorted out it can be healthy boundaries it can be saying no to things or demands or you know different situations that just don't serve or match what it is you truly desire so that you can take a stand for what matters it's like they've got this ace of wands here and what they're thinking overall wanting to take action take initiative you are holding this ace of wands here I feel like you're also attracted to them and interested in them them. But there, I feel like sometimes the seven of wands can be a little guarded, but not in a negative way. It's somebody who is open to something or someone that comes forward in a way that feels right. So if you do have your card up at all, it's because you're ready for something that feels right. You're ready for something that just, you know, clicks, connects, and you know that it's worth putting your energy into. Your person has the temperance um, card here in their daily life. And I'm going to take a sip of water real quick. And I do apologize um, that it's taken me a, a little a little extra time to get these July readings out. I've been thinking about you guys a lot, though, even building up to this. I was sick last week. I lost my voice over the weekend. And so I'm kind of getting everything all caught up. So I do apologize. Interesting, though, that I felt guided to talk about that and take a sip, sip of water while we got this temperance energy. It almost makes me wonder, you know, and tell you guys, sorry, it's taken a little bit here. Um almost makes me wonder if this is somebody who has been thinking about you, has been building up their confidence, maybe even might apologize that it's taken them a little bit to say something or do something or to send some sort of message because this temperance energy is all about the right timing or divine timing. Sagittarius energy could be significant. For me, this is, you know, the two of cups, the connection, you know, the two people in the hands of the divine, the universe, your angels got this, your universe has this, your universe 
universe is always working on your highest good, always working on your happiness, could be balancing things out with you and this person to bring you together at just the right moment. I feel like I'm kind of drawn to the way this person is kind of, you know, this uh, divine energy here is kind of dipping their toe in the water. I feel like this is somebody who's definitely wanting to explore the way that they're feeling for you more and more. It could be a little bit of hesitancy here. And once again, some of you could even have somebody be like, oh, I'm sorry, it's taken a little bit. You know, you've been on my mind, but you know, now I want to talk. In your heart space, you've got the King of Swords. Strong Gemini for me as a reader. Libra and Aquarius can be significant as well. But this is crystal clear. Integrity, clarity, intention setting. I know, you know, what it is that I feel. I know what it is that I want. You could be having some major realizations, you know, about somebody. Now, whenever I get the swords energy showing up, you know, in the heart placement of the reading, which is really the cups placement and swords or thoughts, it could be somebody who is thinking a lot about the way that they feel. Now, you could also be feeling like, you know, um, this person is somebody that, you know, you're having some, you know, just realizations about somebody you could really get on board with, somebody that you definitely feel it could be the one. But you could be overthinking it a little bit too, like thinking about your feelings and, you know, trying to make some decisions about maybe some sort of forward movement. And we've got the Nine of Cups it just jumped out. Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck, Aries energy. You are interested. I mean, you want to take this to the next level. You want to explore this. You want to see where it can go. You feel like this person could be a match. You've got the King of Swords clarified by the Nine of Cups. So we do have a Cups card here. I feel like your heart is open to this. Even if you have been thinking a lot about the way you feel, Pisces energy here with this Nine of Cups, I think that you want this to happen. I feel like both of you want this to happen. Seeing the Nine of Cups on both sides could be wishing for one another, longing for one another, thinking about one another, could even feel like this person is a wish come true, could even just, you know, had this like, I just saw like a little light bulb, like a little cartoon light bulb, like, like this just realization, you know, because this King of Swords is about thoughts and clarity, that this is the person you've been wishing for and hoping for. If some of you have been setting your intentions and calling somebody in, a wish come true could happen, somebody you've been hoping for. But I feel like there's also some good news with the nine of cups your person has the two of swords so talk about overthinking your feelings here not only is this person kind of up in their head a little bit definitely a little bit of guarded energy with the arms crossed here so when it's time to listen to your heart listen to your intuition you see the water and the moon in the background the emotions the feelings your intuition all of that but somebody is like up in their head here their heart and their mind aren't necessarily saying the right thing and so they get kind of stuck in limbo. It's like your heart and your head has to agree. And I feel like they know it's time to make a decision to take a step. But it definitely feels like a little bit slow here, you know, about what to do or what to say. Libra energy could be significant with the two of swords. But let's see what this is about. It feels like this person knows it's time to take like a decisive step or make a move. And they are. They're like stuck in limbo a little bit trying to decide. And I have a few cards jump out but look at it after all that shuffling here's this page of swords back on the bottom of the deck it's like they can't take their mind off you they can't stop thinking about you they could like check your social media like 10 times a day if you haven't just because they like you keep being on their mind obviously it's not gonna be the case for everyone but in their heart space oh my goodness I feel like I see exactly what they are trying to decide here um, I feel like the outcome that they're hoping for is the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. They do want this to happen. They feel like you could be the one there. You know, this is somebody who's looking down the road and wanting something, you know, that can last, that can be stable, that can be genuine. It feels to me we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands here. Taurus energy, Aries could be significant, Leo and Sagittarius as well. But it almost feels like this person is torn between taking their time, planning, thinking about it and this intense attraction that they have for you and the fact that it's like they want to do something spontaneous. It's almost like they can't decide. Do I wait? Do I plan like this king of, yeah, I'm sorry, like this knight of pentacles or do 
I just spontaneously take some sort of step? Either way, the outcome that they are clearly hoping for with the Ten of Pentacles is that this can work out, that this can happen, and that this can really last. I feel like they're drawn to you, interested in you, um, and have been moving towards you, maybe for longer than you realize. Even if it is somebody you haven't met, I feel like the person that we're meant to be with, because I'm always looking at those like really strong connections, those ones that are meant to last, is always on our way to us, um, on their way to us. So intentions are the devil energy and the five of cups. Capricorn Scorpio here, some of you could be feeling discouraged. If there's somebody you're incredibly interested in, very drawn to, extremely attracted to, but some things just haven't quite gone the way that you hoped, you could be struggling to believe that this is possible. This is somebody who is looking at this, you know, these spilled cups, the things that haven't worked, you know, and not seeing this potential for this two of cups, the same cups that are sitting right here, you know, with this temperance energy in the hands of divine, your universe is working on your happiness. This person could be thinking about you. You could be letting your de like your fears and doubts, I was said demons, maybe your own inner demons, you know, cause you to be discouraged about something that really is here. Now, I also feel like with these healthy boundaries, which is really beautiful with the seven of wands, you definitely aren't going to be messing around with anything that's toxic, anything that doesn't feel right, any of that, even if that means saying goodbye, releasing something that just doesn't serve, because you know, you know, whether or not you can see it or aware of it, you know, that you are worthy of this two of cups energy you are worthy of a connection with somebody who shows up you know who doesn't necessarily keep you waiting and guessing and wondering but really knows how to express themselves and we have five of cups and the devil energy clarified by the ace of swords i i love that Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you know what, Pisces, you know what it is that you want. You could even be doing some real intention setting. You have some real clarity. I feel like you know what you want in your world. You know what you don't want. You're willing to let go and make the tough calls, you know, to release things that don't feel right and to really set those intentions and be ready for a fresh start, a communication, a new beginning from the heart with someone that I do feel like you have deep feelings about, but you're ready for something that feels right, something that is a match, somebody is who is clear, somebody who sets their intentions and then also, you know, takes a stand and communicates what they're feeling. We've got the chariot and peeking out the four of wands. This four of wands keeps showing up. You're ready for a connection that feels right. You're ready to move forward with this chariot energy. Cancer energy could be significant. You do want to move forward. You do want to see this happen. You do want to make this happen and I feel like you could even be like getting your confidence your willpower together you know with this chariot energy to maybe you know move forward in some direction um Maybe after picking up the pieces of feeling pretty discouraged, you know, you set your intentions and maybe it took realizing what wasn't right and didn't work for you, for you to decide, you know, what it is that you truly desire. And, um, and I think now you might even feel like, you know what, it's time. It's time to just bring some things out in the open. Stop worrying about what, you know, has gone down, what has been in the past, and just see where this is at, what can happen, where this can go. You're ready for a fresh start, and I feel like I've needed to make this clear. When I talk about a fresh start, that does not, you know, necessarily mean a new person. If you're setting intentions for a new person, then absolutely, but for many of you, you know who's in your heart. You know who who's on your mind. We had the six of cups on their side. It's showing up here in your outcome. This can be somebody that you're specifically thinking about, but when we set fresh intentions, we can have new beginnings in a connection with somebody. We can have a fresh start in this connection, you know, with someone who's on our mind when they come towards us in a way that really feels right. Your person's intentions are the hermit energy, and I'll get a clarifier to, you know, see what this is really all about because I definitely see a turning point coming up here um 
Virgo energy could be significant. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo or somebody with strong Virgo in their chart, but it feels like they are thinking very deeply about this. This lantern is kind of shining right in your direction. If somebody got a little bit quiet or took some sort of step, you know, back or whatever the case is to think things through, they could be thinking a lot more deeply about you, this connection, you know, the next step than you even realize. Spirit, why do we have the hermit energy? Why do we have the hermit energy in this person's intentions? We have the tower and the three of wands. Aries and Scorpio energy could be significant here. Aries with the three of wands. Okay, if there has been a tower, if there's been a breakdown, if there's been a difficulty between the two of you, I have to say this person also has a five of cups. It's like both of you kind of have this energy. Maybe both of you are feeling a little discouraged and disappointed, but it feels like both of you are also hoping the two of cups is still standing. The chance is there. The opportunity is there. I feel like this person does not want to miss or lose a chance with you. Maybe they have been through some shakeups, you know, or maybe something has just happened that has been, you know, very surprising or something that happened in their past that makes them want to take things a little slow, think things through. But with the three of wands, as somebody who feels like you could be their ships coming in, you could be what they've been hoping for. They want to explore this. They want to take the, their, you know, these steps towards you. But maybe if they've been a little quiet, it's because they're overcoming some sort of tower situation and they they want to move forward in the right time in the right way. Your potential outcome is a six of cups, the ten of wands, and a six of pentacles. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Tor Taurus energy. But my goodness, Pisces, if you've been feeling overwhelmed, or if you feel like you've been carrying the weight of things, or maybe you've been handling a lot of things, you're dealing with a lot of things on your own, you're getting to the end of a burdensome cycle, a challenging cycle. And look at what you are attracting in, a six of cups and a six of pentacles. This is a beautiful energy of somebody not only only coming forward from the heart, recognizing you, you know, wanting to speak up, wanting to open up. It's somebody who also, you know, recognizes your value, the importance of showing up, the importance of going all in, the importance of doing their part in this to let you know what it is you really mean to them. This is somebody, you know, who is showing up in a balanced way, in a positive way. Somebody, I feel like if you've, you know, feel like you've been the person to send the messages or take the steps or whatever, it's like this is somebody who messages back. This is somebody who shows up. Could be somebody coming forward, you know, after a time of quiet with the Hermit and the Six of Cups. It feels like you are in each other's hearts. The two of you think about one another and you want, you know, you both want this to happen, but it's time. It's like it's time for it to happen in a balanced and positive and open-hearted way. We have for your person the Judgment card, the Five of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. Um, Scorpio energy strong Scorpio across the board here um, and uh, um, Pisces and Cancer energy can be significant as well with all this water but somebody is like getting a nudge from the universe maybe somebody who has been a little undecided in what to say how to move forward this is a moment of decision this is a moment of truth this major arcana is so much more powerful than this minor arcana the universe could just be blowing a trumpet and saying it's time it's time to take a step this person could be feeling a little guilty a little discouraged a little frustrated if they do feel like they you know dropped the ball missed a chance or something you know didn't happen the way that they hoped it's clear you know, they do want to take a step and make an offer. In some cases, with the judgment card and the six of cups showing up in exactly the same placements on both sides, this can be somebody wanting to resurrect something or reach out that you haven't heard from in a bit. Obviously, many of you, you know, talk and see your talk to you and see your person all the time. You're all coming from different places, but I just have to say that when that energy shows up for some, those of you that are dealing with that kind of situation. But whatever the case is, this is a turning point. 
This is the energy, you know, of releasing the past, maybe having an open and honest conversation, taking a chance. This is somebody making an offer. I love the Knight of Cups because the Knight of Cups is an energy that unfolds and turns in to the King of Cups in time. Somebody moving forward from the heart, listening to their heart, taking a step, you know, who really does have feelings and wants to make this happen. I feel like you got an offer coming in. I think somebody wants to move forward and maybe it is somebody who had moved a little slow or even had been discouraged, but it feels to me like they want to take some steps, make things right if there's been a difficulty. But honestly, this is somebody who wants to be with you. They want to be around you. They want to talk to you. They want to tell you how they feel and they want to make this happen. So that is the message that I have for you. I do hope something in this reading spoke to every single person who is guided here. If you like the message, please put a like. If you haven't subscribed, I would love if you would. If you want to get to know me better, get bonus content all month long, uh, my Patreon is open. The link is in this description box. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon.